Usage of iProtect 1216. Preparation. To avoid false detections, it is very important to deactivate all radio transmitting devices in the area before using the iProtect 1216. Turn off all Wi-Fi access points and Wi-Fi devices, printers, surveillance cameras, laptops, etc. Cell phones, cordless phones, and Bluetooth devices. Create sound in the room to activate any potential bugging devices and to mask your actions. Use a portable speaker, radio, or any other source available. Turn on the iProtect 1216 and make sure the device is in the All Bands Display Mode with three bar graphs displayed. Selecting the Working Mode. If the sweeping procedure has been revealed, your adversary might deactivate any bugging devices, making the further search much harder. For a fully covert operation, when it is impossible to create a masking sound in the room, use the silent mode. The audio mode can be selected in order to listen to the signal's audio footprint. Thanks to a specific sound, some signals can be identified more quickly. The alarm mode is very convenient since it allows the user to scan quickly without watching the display. When the iProtect 1216 approaches a transmitter, the RF level exceeds the threshold and the device starts producing an alerting sound and the display shows the word alarm. Additionally, the threshold helps the user to mask the interference coming from outdoor broadcasting, communication towers, or neighboring wireless devices. To minimize false detections, the alerting sound appears after the signal exceeds the threshold during a predefined period. Threshold. Adjust the threshold level to mask any background interference in the alarm mode. Scanning the area. Walk around the room clockwise or counterclockwise and probe all objects, surfaces, and constructions with the detector. Scan slowly, moving the antennas to within 10 to 20 centimeters of the objects. Take into consideration that a hidden camera must be installed in a way that it observes the table, negotiation area, or other place of interest in the room. Audio listening bugs must hear the conversation clearly, so they're typically placed closer to the target area and further from any source of noise. Despite the fact of a potential bugging device can be powered by a battery, special attention should be paid to objects and places where an AC source is available. The bar graph levels will increase or decrease when the detector is closer to or farther away from a transmitting device. Locating and pinpointing the bug. If a suspicious place with a high RF level is found, select the band which shows the danger. Increase the threshold periodically to narrow the search area when in the alarm mode. After finding the precise location, start a physical inspection of the object. If a bugging device is found, do not stop. There may always be others in the area.